I am Dr. Himani Sharma. I am obstetrician and gynecologist. I am a consultant at Cloud9 Vashi. To understand the causes of premature delivery, first we need to understand actually what is premature delivery. Any delivery which occurs 3 weeks prior to the expected date of delivery is known as premature delivery. In other words, we can say that the delivery which happens at 37 completed weeks of gestation is known as premature delivery. Practically speaking, there is no specific cause which leads to premature labor, but there are certain associated conditions, certain high risk factors which can lead to premature labor pains. Any pregnancy can land up in premature labor. So we should be actually more aware about the risk factors which lead to premature onset of labor pains. So the most important factor if we see in clinical practice is if the patient comes with a prior history of uh, premature labor pains in last pregnancy. Second most important cause of premature delivery is any associated infections of the amniotic fluid. Amniotic fluid as you understand is the fluid which surrounds the baby. So any infection of the amniotic fluid or of the lower genital tract, the birth canal of the baby or of the urinary tract, these factors leads to the early onset of labor pains which leads to premature delivery. In present scenario, we are getting exposed to many patients who are having a history of smoking cigarettes or drinking alcohol. Even cigarette smoking and drinking alcohol predisposes to premature onset of labor pains. If the patient has a history of multiple pregnancy, so we are seeing n number of cases who have become pregnant through IVF procedure. So chances of having twins, triplets, quadruplets is more common. Increased uh, number of babies cause increased stretching of the uterus and that can lead to premature onset of labor pains. One more important cause is any long-standing medical disorders in the females due to increased incidence of obesity we are seeing high sugars during pregnancy high blood pressure which is known as pregnancy induced hypertension and gestational diabetes they also predispose to early onset of labor pains then last but the not least is like any structural defect which are seen in the uterus like they can be bicornate uterus or aseptic uterus. These are the defects which cause early onset of labor pains before 37 weeks of delivery. Then there can be any structural defect in the cervix. Cervix is actually the opening of the mouth of the uterus. So if there is any defect in the structure of the cervix, it causes premature opening of the mouth of the uterus and premature delivery. There can be any placental defects, placental hypertrophy or IUGR, intrauterine growth retardation which causes premature onset of labor pains.